Peace. Um, this is about ex-girlfriend of Dayton Shooter says she saw red flags and a dark side while they dated. So now we're going to take a look at what the ex-girlfriend had to say <clears throat> of the Dayton Shooter. A former girlfriend of Connor Betts, the man who went on a shooting rampage outside a bar in Dayton, Ohio, said a number of warning signs led her to break up with the 24 year old all right so there was a former girlfriend of connor betts um he was went on a shooting rampage outside a bar in dayton ohio um and she i mean, said a number of warning signs led her to break up with the 24 year old so he was 24 years old i'm not sure how old the ex-girlfriend was Caitlin Adelia Johnson, 24, said Betts briefly dated this spring. NBC reported she told the Toledo Blade the two met in their psychology class at Sinclair Community College. All right, so Caitlin Adelia Johnson, she was 24 also. Um, and of course, they both briefly dated this spring. Um, they met in their psychology class at Sinclair Community College. They bonded over their struggles with mental illness. Johnson said she has depression and anxiety, and Betts told her he was bipolar and had obsessive compulsive disorder. All right, so they both had mental illness issues. Um, Johnson said she has depression and anxiety and Betts told her he was bipolar and uh, and had obsessive compulsive disorder so uh, and you know it's a terrible thing that mental illness has to play in this game but then you cannot blame nothing on mental illness you can't because this is a blame game for mental illness and it shouldn't be blamed at all at first, Johnson found Betts kind of charming and intelligent. The Blade reported, she said he was outgoing and willing to start a conversation with any stranger. Johnson soon learned he had a dark side. So, Johnson found Betts kind of charming and intelligent at first. But then when she figured it out that he had a dark side, because she soon learned he had a dark side. Johnson said Betts showed her footage of a mass shooting on their very first date in text released to the Blade. Betts showed off his knowledge of similar acts of violence. So Johnson has showed her her um, footage of a mass shooting and that was a big mistake right there to show anybody the mass shooting allegedly that's a big mistake you could ever do to somebody because it will trigger someone and um and it will set that person off and like i said mental illness is not to blame for this so you might as well wipe it off the table here are a couple of people that are grieving over their loved ones who were killed over the weekend in dayton ohio do you know tragedies from every city? Johnson asked him in the text. Mm -hmm. A far bit of them, he responded. So Johnson asked him if, if he knows tragedies from every city. And he responded a fair bit of them. Johnson also recalled Betts taking her to a gun range where they used rifles. She said she noticed another red flag when he took her to deliver a threatening letter to the house of his ex-girlfriend. All right, so Bess was taking Johnson to a to a gun range and where they used rifles, and of course that's also a big mistake to do too. You should never take anybody to a gun range because that could also be another trigger. 
Um, of course, Johnson noticed another red flag when he took her to deliver a threatening letter to the house of his ex-girlfriend. So he was threatening his ex-girlfriend as well, allegedly. According to The Blade, when Johnson broke up with Beth, she asked a friend if she could stay over because she was scared that he might try to hurt me or stalk me. So Johnson broke up with Betts, and of course, you know, it's not easy to reject anybody, but it is, it, it can't be helped. Once you break up with somebody, don't go back to them because it's not safe. Um, she asked a friend if she could stay over because she was scared that he might try to hurt me or stalk me. That's what she's saying. So there's another trigger right there. If you feel as though if somebody that you're dating or married to or whatever, and you break up with them and they feel like you're going, they're going to hurt you, you better tell somebody fast because it's not going to be pretty after that. One of Betts' victims was his sister, 22-year-old Megan Betts. Johnson told the Blades that as far as she knew, he liked his sister. She said he never spoke negatively about Megan, but he did have problems with his parents, Johnson said. So, one of Betts' victims was his sister, 22 years old, Megan Betts, and I believe he must have killed her. Um, he liked his sister. She said he never spoke negativity about Megan, so, but he did have problems with his parents. But we don't know what kind of problems he had with his parents. In a video interview with NBC, Johnson said Beth's actions didn't have any sort of racial or religious motive. She said the shooting was probably a result of his mental illness and a lack of treatment. Now again, stop blaming mental illness because that hasn't that don't have nothing to do with anything. I guess mental illness is real, but you cannot blame it all on mental illness. It's the person itself that needs to take responsibility for their own action. That's what you need. That's what you need to do. But in this case, they're blaming mental illness and a lack of treatment. Why? Why blame that? People go every day being perfectly fine with having a mental illness, me included. And he just got the short end of the stick, she said. No support system. Well, how can he not have a support system and he's got parents? Yes, people could be perfectly fine with having a mental illness, me included. And, you know, people could live their normal lives outside of whatever their, whatever treatment they're getting. Yes, they can do that. But for anybody to blame mental illness for anything, it's ridiculous. More details about Betts have come to light as people who knew him shared their recollections and observations of his behavior. Here's what we know. Okay, so they there was stuff coming out about Betts and it have come to light. Former classmates said Betts was suspended from Bellbrook High School for compiling a hit list of those he wanted to kill and a rape list of those he wanted to rape. The hit list was found written in a school bathroom. All right, so allegedly, Bess was suspended for compiling a hit list and a rape list of those he wanted to rape. And of course, you know, the hit list of wanted to kill. A classmate who stared in a senior year or starred in a senior year theater production with Beth said he repeatedly threatened to kill her. So allegedly, a, class, a classmate who starred in a senior year production, Beth said he repeatedly threatened to kill her. Beth was the lead singer of a band called the Minstrel Munchies. 
According to BuzzFeed News, the band was porn, porno grind, a type of music defined by lyrics of sexual violence. So Bess was a lead singer of a band called the Menstrual Munchies. What kind of name is that for a band? Really? That, uh, I was, oh my gosh, the band was Pornograd, a type of music defined by lyrics of sexual violence, allegedly. According to his liked in profile, Betts worked briefly at Chipotle Mexican Grill and a gas station in Centerville, Ohio. So he used to work at Chipotle Mexican Grill and a gas station in Centerville, Ohio. A Twitter account appearing to be Betts has tweets labeling himself as a leftist and a supporter of president candidate Elizabeth Warren. The Associated Press reported police have not confirmed the account with the handle at I am the spookster is linked to Betts. So the police have not confirmed any of this yet about his um, liked in um, profile at all claiming himself as a leftist so there's no um, confirming confirmed information about the account whatsoever but it is a Twitter account appearing to be Bez and is, has tweets labeling himself of that of course for his Twitter account and you never know what anything could be anything could be on there so it all depends on what's going to come out and of course you know the police are are not confirming it right now but eventually it will come out leave your comments below i am out